Shimano's RD-U4020 9-speed Q's derailleur is their e-bike and mountain-focused 9-speed derailleur. In this video, I'm going to measure the pull ratio on this derailleur. This derailleur is overbuilt to handle the torque of a motorized drivetrain as well as mountain trails. This version is designed for 2x9-speed drivetrains and has a total capacity of 41 teeth with a maximum difference of 16 teeth between the front chain rings. It can handle up to an 11 to 36 tooth cassette. This derailleur is part of the Q's product line, so it is incompatible with classic 9-speed products. It is designed to work with a Link Glide 11-speed chain, a Link Glide cassette, and Q's shifters only. This derailleur was easy to measure. There seems to be very little friction in the mechanism, which makes it shift very accurately and consistently. The derailleur has no clutch to prevent chain slap, and the cage puts only very light tension on the chain in the small cogs. I did three runs pulling cable and three runs relaxing cable by one third of a millimeter at a time, taking more than 600 measurements in total. To figure out the pull ratio, I calculated the maximum rate of movement for each run. Here you can see how the rate of the derailleur movement changes as you pull more cable. The peak of the line is our pull ratio. I averaged the pull ratios of all six runs to get the pull ratio of 1.13. At its peak, Pulling 1 mm of cable moves the jockey wheel by 1.13 mm. You can now use this number to find other derailleurs that could work in place of this derailleur with this shifter and cassette. One interesting thing I noticed is that this derailleur has a very wide range of motion. The measuring device has a scale that stands in for the cassette and shows where the cogs would be. I found that the derailleur was able to move far enough to reach the 10th cog in a link glide cassette. To put numbers to that, the distance from the center of the smallest cog to the largest cog on a 10-speed link glide cassette is about 37.35 millimeters. I measured this derailleur as being able to move more than 44 millimeters. On a bike with thin 7 millimeter dropouts, this derailleur might even be able to shift an 11-speed link glide cassette, which needs 41.5 millimeters of motion from the jockey wheel. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference.